Some weapons do not only look really cool, but are also insanely powerful, like this Heroic End SMG. It's a really fun Blast Ammo powerhouse that really shows that Blast Ammo can be great for regular fights as well. I also want to tell you how to get the best LMG in the game, which you can customize, how to get an amazing looking sniper, and way, way more. So, of course, if you enjoy the Far Cry content here on the channel, leaving a like on the video is free. Shows your support would be amazing. And let's go. One day left to enter my giveaway for 2300 Far Cry credits via the link in the pinned comment. And you have to be, of course, a subscriber of the channel if you want to participate. We'll be announcing the winner tomorrow and then already start a new one. Maybe if you watch this later, you will already be able to participate in that new one. And real quick, I want to thank Purple Mist and Platoon Papa for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber on my Twitch. We, of course, talked about the Twitch Prime pack in my previous video, which I will link to at the end of this one, where I also said that you have a Twitch Prime sub to give away to anyone. So, really appreciate that. If you also became a free Twitch Prime subscriber on my Twitch, I... Might shout you out in a future video, so stay tuned. Let's start with that amazing Heroic Ant, which is a variant of the PPSH-41. And you find it very easily by going to this location in La Jolla. You might encounter one enemy, take that one out, and then inside the chest you get this amazing gun. It has blast ammo, so you can very easily blow stuff up. But it's surprisingly good against enemies too. Even heavily armed enemies die insanely fast from this high fire rate gun. Likely because of the extra body shot weapon damage mods you find on the weapon. When you do aim for the head, you get extra supremo charge. Which is also nice, of course, to get that special ability more often. I think it's the best mod in the game. Like, one of the best mods. It has a really great scope too. Like, this weapon is amazing for just running into a camp, killing everyone, and also blowing stuff up very easily for that extra XP. Yes, also perfect for the helicopter at the end of that dino special operation, for example. Really can't recommend it enough, although it's of course even smarter to get the regular PPSH-41, which has three mod slots, and you can of course customize with even better attachments, and also drop those armor-piercing rounds on it. This one is a random drop from an FND cache, or you should be able to buy it at a one arms dealer as well. So keep an eye on that. The only downside is that you cannot put a silencer on it. So it's really for just running in, killing everyone. I, by the way, have a really fun tactic for the special operations, which I will show in a future video. But here you see me just easily nuke everyone with this gun. It's amazing. So keep an eye on one shop or FND caches for the regular version, but in the meantime, it's already really smart to get the heroic end, even if you already have the regular PPSH, by the way, because then you can put that amazing golden skin on the regular version which is great. And speaking of amazing golden skins, we also have the Sobek Special, which is giving me SS Creed Origins vibes. I really, really dig it. This is a unique variant of the .308 Carbine. So yes, you can put the skin on that sniper too. Although there are enough reasons to use the Sobek Special instead. It namely has two mods instead of the one we find on the regular version. Headshot kills, reward bonus supremo charge. Again, really great mod. And reload this weapon, reloads all weapons. Sure, not ideal maybe on a sniper, but still, it's an extra mod, which makes this a great get. Plus, it comes with a sight-mounted short-range sight, which requires end-game materials to craft. So you're already getting quite a lot of extra with this unique variant. Like you can already switch your zoom distance with the regular scope between 4 times and 8 times. But if the enemies then get really close, you got this reflect side which you can just switch between. It takes some time to get used to it though, but once you got it down, it's quite fun to play around with this. The only downside is that the weapon has blast ammo. So sure, regular enemies still drop with one headshots. But when enemies have some form of protection, like a helmet, you will totally need at least two shots to take them out. So that's a massive downside. First, the regular version, where you can, of course, use armor-piercing rounds. And the sniper is not even great at blowing vehicles up. So it's a shame that they put blast ammo on it. But overall, it's a great weapon to pick up. And you get it through the cash money treasure hunt, which you find over here on the map. It's really like a short one. So go here. And you complete it. Before you know it, you have the amazing sniper. Moving on to another treasure hunt, which you find over here on the map. And here you can get the regular MG42. I also put a link to this treasure hunt in the video description for if you're having trouble. Although, 
it's not that hard, but just to be sure. And once you complete this, you also get the unicorn mount, which is a nice surprise. But yeah, we're talking about weapons here, and this is really the best LMG in the game. I want to thank Psycho for noting this in the comments under a recent video that he got it from a treasure hunt. Because that impact driver I talked about earlier is of course already great, but being able to mod and put attachments on this LMG makes it even stronger. Although to be fair, using this weapon without any attachments is still pretty great. Super short time to kill, only the long reload, which you can of course nuke with that sidearm tactic. I talked about that in my Desert Eagle video, which you see right here. We'll link to it in the video description. I'm totally thinking about putting this in my like real end game loadout for big shootouts. So overall it's totally worth getting. It's really easy. And yes, the impact driver skin can of course also be used on that weapon. And how to get the impact driver is also noted in the Desert Eagle video. Before I touch on the Sona 51 with the best skin of this video period. Let's go over the true loyalist first. Which you get from the truest Yaren treasure hunt. Super easy, go over here on the map to get it. And this weapon has some pretty fun mods that reveal a fun playstyle for the SBS shotgun. Namely, after reloading, you deal improved damage. And that's perfect with this weapon, because you have to reload anyways after two shots. So you will benefit from this damage increase quite often. It also has headshot rewards bonus supremo charge and blast ammo. And kind of like with the heroic end... On a shotgun, blast ammo is still really nice, like you can still easily kill many enemies, but then if a vehicle comes close, you can blow that up pretty fast too. And that's what I really like about these unique weapons, because sure, during the end game you can way better customize your own regular version of this gun, but these unique guns do push you to play the game differently, they show you new ways to use that regular version. And of course, they give you an awesome skin. Although, again, the best skin in this video is the Sona 51, which is basically an arcade or gambling machine on your BP2, which you can also put on your regular BP2, and that might be the best call, because we're looking at incendiary rounds, which are fun to play around with, but not great. It has a decent scope, and the mod could also be better. Reloading this weapon reloads all weapons. Like, it's nothing that improves the power of this AR, so... Apart from the amazing looks, it's better to use the regular BP-2, which I, by the way, got from a Los Bandidos operation, but I think you can also get it in FND cash. And the Sona 51 is hidden in the city in an FND base over here on the map. You need to get the key in order to get here, which I think drops from one of the enemies, and then the gun is yours. Of course, subscribe for way more Far Cry 6 content. A like on the video would really help me out. Check out that previous video on some items you want to get before they are gone, including the Twitch Prime pack. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.